How's it going everybody? Little Joe again with the final on the Fast Jimmy 71 uh, Little Joe collaboration build uh, as Dr. Cranky referred to us as I think he said the dynamic duo or something like that which I thought was quite funny. Anyway I've got some uh, a slideshow coming up here at the end and I've got the car here to show you and you know a, a little bit about this collaboration build I spoke with Jimmy uh, a while back and we were talking about it you know possibly doing something like that and you know finally I called him and I said uh, you know Jimmy what do you think man should we do a collaboration build and he said yes and then I said cool so I went and picked the car. I already had the car. I went and picked up some extra stuff to go with it for some fun, you know, uh, being a collaboration build and everything. And you know, a lot of a lot of you builders out there have been building uh, on YouTube a lot longer than I have. But uh, I look at this like artwork, you know, and uh, to to work with a fellow individual, which I have never done before, by the way, uh, you know, I've always done it alone, just like most of us, but this collaboration thing really seemed nice, but to, to do that with him, uh, being that he, you know, there was a couple of guys that was one of the first, and I think Jimmy was the very first guy I saw on there, and uh, I thought to myself, uh, wow, that'd be really cool to meet that guy one day, you know, or talk to that guy, but, you know, that's not going to happen. But it has, and that's really cool. And now here I am with some artwork from, you know, Jimmy himself. Uh, so I've got the car, and what I'm going to do is show you a little bit of the car, and then I'm going to show you a slideshow, and uh, I'm going to show you from where Jimmy started, and it's going to progress on to where I got it, and then what I did. And at the end, there'll be a nice slideshow of some shots of it outside, doing a few things, you know, my normal stuff. But... Uh, Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and show you the car now. So, let's take a quick look here. All right, guys, there it is. Um, it came out really good. All the chromes on it, bare metal foil. Uh, everything is detailed. It has a license plate, which I hardly ever do for some reason. I don't put the license plates on. Uh, the car came together very good. There's some little things I got to tweak on it here and there, but for the most part, the car really came out nice. Uh, it went together very well. Uh, as y'all know, Jimmy fabricated the firewall and the front end and the roll cage and the suspension, and you know he did a lot on this build. And uh, I'm really, really uh, excited to have this, and he's such a nice guy for, for doing this with me and, you know, allowing me to, to keep some of his work, which I think is great. So I'm going to open the, the uh, hood now, so if y'all just hold on a second here. I didn't glue this down. That away, you know, it just looks cool like that. That right there, that's my skin from my finger. I got some glue on my finger and didn't realize it and uh, I got some stuff on there I need to get off there. You're gonna peel my skin off on there. But I'll go ahead and open this up for y'all. I'm gonna set this camera down. Okay, there we go. There we go. As you can see it functions. It is not a static front end. It functions properly like it should uh, as you can see that firewall back there Jimmy built all of that from scratch because he had to uh, actually he just he wanted to clean it up better make it look more like a race car uh, the front end here you know uh, the, the whole car really came out nice uh, like I said it does it does work it is a working front end uh, let me take the car off or take this off here and do this for you guys because this is something I haven't done I haven't laid it on its side but uh, if you can see up here all the lines you know the fuel lines are run everything's plumbed uh, I thought about putting some big fat exhaust coming off of there but 
<clears throat> I don't think I am. Uh, you know, but it's a very cool car. I still got to do some things to it. Some little minor things that I'm seeing, you know. But uh, for the most part, there she is, guys. So, let me get this camera put back where it's going to go. Alright guys, I thank each and every one of you guys for tuning in and for your positive comments and for, uh, you know, just really supporting us. I love the 48 hour builds, the uh, community build, the box stock community build. That's all coming out real great. I work so much, it's hard for me to, uh, to get into those builds like that uh, because, you know, I basically work three jobs a lot of times and uh, I'm just very busy and I don't have much time. Uh, but... Uh, I'm, I'm working on it and I've got some more builds coming up that I'm going to be showing you guys and starting very soon here. So uh, here comes the slideshow guys. Now it's kind of a long video and I apologize for that but it's going to start from the very beginning from where Jimmy got it and it's going to progress on into where I got it and the things I did and then you'll have another nice slideshow at the end. So thank you all very much. Fast Jimmy, thank you. Uh, tremendously for doing the uh, build with me. Uh, I look forward to doing it in the future. I think that I'm going to build a chassis now and send it to him. We haven't talked too much about it yet, but I think it's going to be a kind of another collaboration, but a reverse on it, uh, where I do the chassis and he does the body and interior and things. So uh, thank you so much, Jimmy. You're a great guy, and I have really enjoyed this build. Uh, I've just really enjoyed it, man, and I really hope we can do more of this in the future. So I'm Little Joe from Back Bay Scale Customs and the band Knuckle Deep, and sometimes the socials, and maybe GRS. And I called uh, D. Snyder. He don't give a crap about me, so I'm not going to be a twisted sister, uh, you know, but uh, we can dream, can't we? I hear them guys do a Christmas album every year. But, uh, okay, well, it's time for me to go. So if y'all need me, leave a... A message on my page there. So I'm Little Joe. We'll see you guys later.